You smell delicious. So do you. <gasps> I, I do have a bad time. Oh, no, it's okay. I was actually just crunching fusion numbers, and I wanted to take a break. How about we make some s'mores, hmm? Actually, I rented her a video. I told her she could watch it. Now? You don't mind? No, I don't mind. Do you know how to work Aunt Mia's VCR? I put the tape in the slot. Mm -hmm. I push the green button. You are so smart. <laughs> will you watch it with me? Um, I will be in as soon as I can, okay? Okay. Okay. Go ahead. So, uh, you passed up making s'mores. What's wrong? Adam and I s'mores. It's, it's amazing that our marriages last as long as they did. <laughs> You loved Adam. Yes. Didn't you? Yes. But marriages need trust. And you lost yours because of Adam's affair with Brooke. Just that. Adam didn't trust me either. I don't know, but your affair with Ryan was... It wasn't... Okay, you missed out on a couple of chapters. Do you remember when I came over here and I was helping you pack? Yeah, I remember. After Jake left, yeah. Tad came over. Oh, my God. You slept with Tad? No, I didn't sleep with him. I... He... kissed me. Oh. And? And I, I realized, you know, I'm, I'm always waiting for the next fight. I'm always waiting for the next battle. And that's not good for, for anyone. I, I just want a simple life. I'm, I want to raise my daughter. I want her to be happy and strong. You want to do this all by yourself? Mia, if there's a perfect person out there, then that's wonderful. But if not, then that's fine, too. I'm at peace with myself, and I'm going to hang on to that. Wow. Must have been some kiss, huh? Well, it was a turning point. Okay. All right, so what now? Adam wants us to have the house, and... Um, I, I, I was just thinking maybe Colby and I could stay with you. Yes, yes, absolutely. I would love it. I would absolutely, absolutely love it. When can you move in? Well, um, we have to tell Colby first. Oh, God. She doesn't know? Well, Adam wanted to tell her together, and he's been putting it off. He doesn't want the divorce. No, he doesn't want to disappoint Colby. Breaking her heart is the hardest thing in the world for him to do. Excuse me. Oh, Mia. I, um, saw the message you left for Marion. Mind my coming by? No. No. I was hoping we could have the talk. I'll talk with Colby. Right now? The more delay only makes it more painful. Daddy! Oh, sweetheart. Hello, my darling. How would you like to have an adventure? What kind of adventure? Well, you remember when you and Mommy stayed with Stuart and Mimi? And Stuart taught you all kinds of things. He taught me how to fingerprint the wall. Yeah. How would you like to have another adventure? Right here with Aunt Mia. With Mommy, too? Yes, with me, too. Mm -hmm. And you, Daddy? Well, no, um, well, I have to stay at the house, but it'll be an adventure every time you come by. And you can come by any time you want. Right, Mommy? Yes. That's right. Won't you be lonely? Oh, no, no. Daddies don't get lonely. We're too busy. No, we should stay home with you and be together. Sweetheart. You know that, that we love you very much, don't you? You know that. And even if we're in different houses, well, we'll still be together. Here and here. Do you understand? You know, I'd love to go to the park with you, if it's all right. I'm sure she would love to, but she's actually invited to a birthday party. Oh, I'd love to take her. Yay! Thank you, Daddy! 
Um, Mia, Mia, oh. Nicole, we wanted you to do her hair. Oh, you yeah. Know, she loves it. Come on, come with me. Let's make you more beautiful than you are already. Oh. Mm. I was up half the night trying to figure out the best way to explain divorce. It isn't easy. Not for children or adults. I just want Kobe to know that we both love her very much, despite our problems. Adam, no matter how you love your children, it's not going to be perfect. Yeah, well, I was hoping uh, Colby wouldn't figure that out for quite some time. Well, she's strong, like her father. She got a strength from you. If I'm you and you're me. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Colby's got the best of both of us. Cheap shot Chandler. I'm ready for my rematch. Oh, fight's off, Tad. What are you doing? Oh, I was I was gonna call you. Really big changes around here. Oh my god, he fired you? That is just yeah. well, come on, Liza. He, he can't get away with that. You can't let him. Please calm down. He didn't fire me, I quit. Why? I'm divorcing Adam. Again? You're supposed to say something comforting. Third time's the charm. You know, I mean it. I, I, I was beginning to think you'd never break free. You know, you're beginning to sound like Liz Estrada. Huh. So I guess your marital problems were beyond her skills. Huh? No, you know what? Counseling really was a giant success. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, and that's why you're on your way to the divorce court. Without her, Adam and I would be at war. What do you mean, would be? I'm staying on high alert. Adam has been quite reasonable, Tad. Oh, well, given time, he's probably just stunned. You do realize this means you have to take care of Colby, right? He has agreed to a very fair custody agreement. Oh, please. You read the fine print? Colby will live at Mia's right now. She will visit her father at his house. And what about the money? He has offered a very fair settlement. I'm going to be working at Fusion. Too easy. I... You, know, you know what? It's not easy. Because I've just broken up my family. I have shattered my daughter's family. And I've blown up any picture I have of a future. I... I did not... It, it just didn't come out the way I meant it. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Look, Adam and I have survived a lot. Adultery and felonies and illness. Yeah, and then I kissed you. Liza, did something that insignificant really destroy your marriage? No. I did. James, how could you have anything to do with Liza's divorce? Well, you couldn't have. You can't blame yourself wait, at all. Wait, 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 just a second. What, what, what's wrong? Why are you feeling so guilty all of a sudden? I don't want to get into this now. Okay? I'm going to give you guys some privacy. What'd you do? Mr. Chandler went off on me again. Adam goes off on everybody. What's so unusual about that? He said I stole Jer's girlfriend and that I drove my brother away. Sammy, that's got nothing to do with Liza or Adam's divorce. Did he say something else? He said that I was jealous of JR and that no Martin would ever best at Chandler. What'd you say? I said he should ask his wife. I bet she wouldn't agree with him. It was a good shot. But you shouldn't have said it. But I didn't spill that you made out with Liza. Would you stop it? I I didn't make out with Liza. Technically, it was just a kiss. Technically, I don't want to know. OK, fair enough. You did not mess up Adam's marriage. You did, however, win me a really, really good shot to the chops. Sorry, but you were the one doing the kissing. Hey. Hey. It's not a joke, and I'm not laughing. You've done stuff like this before. It's high time you learned something about discretion. F from you? Like, that is even possible. Jamie. Dad, you're a total fake, and a way worse horn dog than me. 
So set an example for yourself. I'm I'm really sorry. I can't lose my little girl. What do you mean? I know a together lady like you probably can't understand, but uh, you know, me coming here, it's it's a last resort. I need a good job. You know, to provide for Lori. You know, to prove that I'm up to being her dad. I got my uh, resume here. You know, when JR and Lori were involved, I, I went down and I looked at your record. You weren't downsized out of your position. I know, I... I got fired, I admit it, you know. I lost my wife, I got stupid and mean, and... And now? I can't lose Lori, too. You know, and I'll, I'll do whatever I can to be a decent dad. I'll talk to Adam. I was hoping maybe you could do a little more than that. You're right. We don't get along. No, and Adam has said that too, but he's changed. And I've always thought that the two of you had something in common. We're both lousy dads? No, I mean, you love your children more than life itself. Yeah. Well, um, thank you. Thanks uh, for putting a word in for me. Eliza, what is uh, Doug Lewis doing here? Oh, he's just trying to be a good parent. What happened with Jamie? I would say that Jamie's a chip off the old block. Well, it's not so bad. Are you kidding? You try raising a mini-me with Brooke's IQ. Well, I don't actually think I'm up to the challenge. I'll tell you, though, convincing Adam to rehire Doug Lewis, that's going to be a hard sell. If you were in charge, would Doug get another chance? Why not? No reason. We all need a second chance sometimes. Yeah, yes. Matter of fact, sometimes second chances are what make life livable. You know? Are you uh, trying to muster the courage to ask if I'll give us a second chance? I gotta tell you, I'd be lying if I said that that I kissed and bring back a whole lot of really, really good memories. Me too. So why, when we were in Lisa Strada's office with uh, Adam, did you say it could have been anybody? No, um, Chad, I'm not up for talking about this right now. Okay, well then, let me talk about it for a while. You know, you and I have been pretty messed up for these last few days, and... Uh... Yeah, well, that's an understatement, isn't it? Well, sometimes when you take two messed up people and you put them together, you get... And you get anxiety attacks. You get weeping fits and late-night calls to the psychic. You don't have to sugarcoat it. Ted, I'm, I'm sorry that you're lonely. I'm, I'm sorry that you're hurt. But you don't think it's a good idea for us to start jumping mm -hmm. each other now? No. Okay. All right, fine. Okay, you're probably right. You get to be right again. Mm -hmm. Be too much fun, you know? Too easy. Besides, we've got boxes to pack. Come on. Hey, hey. Dad. Yep. The kiss, that that kiss, it, it couldn't have been anyone. It had to be you. Okay. That means I am either dangerously irresistible or pathetically safe. You're my best friend. And you were there 
right when I needed you most. Well, when you got it, flaunt it. I do love you. I know. Oh, my goodness. Oh, can you believe this? I have seen this happen like a million times in the movies. I just didn't think it actually could happen. Well, I can fix that for you. You can? Try. Is there anything you can't fix? Good as new. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Well, I'll, I'll get it on so I can go and right. you have. Ow. What's wrong? I don't know, but it hurts. Right. Well, maybe you pulled a muscle when, when you fell. No, it hurts worse than that. Yeah? Well, sit down for a minute. That should help it. What after they amputate? This is amazing. <laughs> so where does it hurt? My calf. Okay. Straight. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> so, you fixed legs. <laughs> uh, I, I think this should help, Miss Chandler. Oh, well, you know, if I'm letting you rub my leg, I think you can call me Liza. I'll call you Mr. Fix-It. <laughs> oh, that was, that was a joke. I'm sorry. I, I, you know, because you fix everything around here, like the thermostat and the wiring and, 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 and Greenlee's pipes. Um, that was just sort of a, a joke. You know, I'm fine. This is gonna be fine. A few more minutes, a few more minutes. All right. Well, I don't really have anywhere else I have to go, so. So do you, um, do you ever do anything besides work? Yeah, of course. Because, you know, we were all talking about it one day, and we wondered what you did in your free time. Do you have a girlfriend? No. No girlfriend. Oh, they're probably all lining up. Unless Simone's probably pushing them out of the way. <laughs> Simone. Yeah. She's nice. Yeah. And beautiful. All the girls that work here, they're beautiful. Yeah, mostly taken. I think that should do the trick. Thank you. Um, it's all right, right? Yeah. Oh, you know, Greenlee's not taken. What's wrong with her? For another man, nothing. She's, she's perfect. But for me, she's not for me. I gotta finish my work. Oh. Yes. Poor guy. He's crazy about her. If it still hurts, when you get home, you should put some ice on it for about 20 minutes and then some heat. Oh, I, I'm, I'm fine. You know, about Greenlee, I, I just, uh, I mean, she has so many advantages, and she suffered a lot of loss last year, so I don't think she thinks of herself as a perfect person. She's just, I think, kind of scared. And that's why I sent her the emails. Well, wait a minute. You were the one that sent her the emails? Does she know this? Yeah, she she knows about it, and I wish she would have never found out, because when I used to talk to her through the computer, things used to be so... Well, easy and, and safe. Yeah. It sounds like you're both scared. No, no, not me. 
What Greenlee's mostly scared of and afraid is that people like you will find out that she even knows someone like me. What if it's not that? What if she's afraid that she has feelings at all? What if she's afraid at how powerful they are, or she's afraid she's going to act on them? Listen, I, I just want to thank you for my shoe, <laughs> my leg. Have a good night. Buenas noches. Yes, after watching for the 150th time that video. Mm. Well, I stopped by the Taj Mahal and I got us some shrimp kurma and some lamb madres and some little fortune cookie things. You oh, you got a phone call. He couldn't get through on your cell. Oh, I know, I turned it off. Fusion lawsuit. Stupid. Was it a lawyer or a reporter? It was Jake. I was just screening the calls, and I heard his voice on the machine. I, I didn't pick up. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. My ex calls to tell me where he wants his mail sent. It's no biggie. It's just practical stuff. You want some? No, thanks. How am I? I am, I'm completely over Jake. A cheating creep. So you're, you're over him? Yeah, of course. Any choice? Well, Amia, I mean, it happened sort of unexpectedly. It didn't happen that long ago. You don't have to put up on a great front or anything. Look, listen, I'm just moving on with my life, that's all. And no, not with Edmund Gray. It's just sort of a rebound thing, you know? Sort of a three-day infatuation thing to take my mind off things and set me in the right direction. So you're not seeing Edmund anymore? No. Why? I mean, do you have a problem with me seeing Edmund? you have a problem with me dating Edmund? Why didn't you say so before? I don't disapprove of you seeing Edmund. I, I, I don't think I necessarily trust that Edmund's ready for a relationship. Well... That's okay, because we're not in one. Well, there you go. We both agreed that the timing was off, and so we bailed. So? At least it was mutual this time. You know, I don't know why you're pretending that this doesn't mean anything to you. Oh, come on, it's not the end of the world. Mia, Colby told me that Edmund and Maddie came over today. Yeah, so? So stop what? for a second. You're acting like... A replacement mommy. Oh, of course. I mean, no. Now, wait a minute. Maybe Maddie is filling a spot of, of pain and loss for you for not having William. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. And maybe know. Edmund is keeping your mind off Jake. Well, is that so terrible? No. But if Maria gets her memory back, she's going to want Edmund back too. And I don't want to see you suffer that kind of loss all over again. Maureen does regain her memory. It's running back to Edmund. It won't be my problem. It'll be Aiden's. I'm not in the mix, so, you know, it doesn't matter to me. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go check on Colby. Okay. to court. Well, at least we'll know where we stand. I knew it. There's just got to be some way to end this lawsuit. Before it ends fusion? No, don't bet on it. Who wants to order some food? You have an appetite? I refuse to let this one setback ruin my life. 
It's ruining our business. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we might have to close our doors down. All companies face nuisance lawsuits. So, so some old lady can't taste the salt on her taco chips. No one's going to buy that it's our fault. You know, I hate to bring this up, but we didn't do product testing. Oh, um, you mean like for allergic reactions and things like that? Yeah, but right. you know what? All of our ingredients are natural. No, it doesn't matter. Some people can still have allergies to natural products. So how is that our fault? I'm just begging you not to roll over and play dead. We can beat this lawsuit. Right on. That's the spirit. Never say die. You are fusion. Hear you roar. Oh. Please, Kenny, will you quit with the phony cheerleading? Phony? Well, don't blow smoke up our skirts, okay? Just give it to us straight. Where do we stand on the legal front? On very shaky ground. All good things must come to an end. My boss has pulled the plug. Doesn't Dunleavy, Bacaro, and Gould have any social conscience? Oh, come on, it's not like we're a charity. Yeah, but we are beautifying the landscape of America. Wait a minute, is, is, this, is this a temporary thing or what? Sorry, my firm made it absolutely clear. No more pro bono work for fusion. Well, they don't have to know. You could do it on your own time. But yeah, do it under the table. I don't have any of my own time. I couldn't adequately represent you, certainly not in this lawsuit. You're just tired of bailing me out of trouble. No, I put in like 110 hours a week at the firm. If those billable hours suddenly fall off because I'm working free for you guys, believe me, they'll notice. This is so unfair. Kenny, thank you. You've been great. Well, Fusion can't afford to pay you, so I guess this is adios. Forget it. You're staying put. What's your agency standard retainer fee? What would you consider a sizable amount? Well, in cases like this, uh... That is what I call really bailing us out. We owe Liza big time. She's dipping into her personal account to hire Kenny. Well, she believes in fusion. Well, she must. She's willing to risk a huge chunk of change. Ever since she separated from Adam and Chandler Enterprises, fusion has been her main focus. Well, I'd cover the retainer myself, but my pockets aren't nearly as deep as hers, so this just sort of ups the, uh, the pressure for us to succeed. Uh, all of us, including Kendall? Well, yeah, Kendall's a huge part of Fusion. <laughs> Until Michael's young has a yen for her yin. <laughs> then she gives us the kiss off and she's all over him. Oh, come on. They just got together. She's in love, or at least she thinks she is. Yeah. Let's cut her some slack, okay? Mm. Until this lawsuit is settled, we have to maintain our personal integrity and the integrity of Fusion. I'm still yours. Simone, you can get arrested anytime. Uh, <laughs> no, she can't. <laughs> Liza, Liza, we are forever in your debt. We will Fusion. never forget this. It's been the only business that I have been involved in at the startup level. I find it, and all of you, inspiring. Us? Look, there's not enough women who take the time to realize their dream, and I'm proud to be a part of this company. I hope it sets an example for my daughter, that one day she may choose to be on the board. I like that. <laughs> We're part of Colby's legacy. And your daughter's, too, when you have some. Don't mess up this lawsuit, Kenny. <laughs> Fusion's a legacy for our daughters. And their daughters. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. Liza and I have mapped out a strategy. Uh, can we contact Kendall to get her input? Like we could get her on the phone when she's having a little one-on-one -on -one with the mighty Michael? The defense rests. Kendall's not picking up the phone. Well, uh, would you if you were with, uh, never mind. Well, we can vote without Kendall, right? Yeah, that's within our rules. Is this anything Kendall would object to? I doubt it. Liza's agreed to settle the uh, suit with a very generous offer. We're going to pay off this crackpot? Well, wait, wait, there's a, a limit, of course. Still, it's a sizable amount. Liza, oh. you don't have to do that. I volunteered. I really did. You are too good to be true. Thank you so much. You are so amazing. <laughs> Let's see what our taste bud challenged litigant has to say about Liza's generosity. Wait, you're, you're going to call Gertrude Stark right now. You want to settle this, don't you? Uh, yes! yes. Let me show you the phone. Liza, I know you're going through a hard time right now with your divorce. No, no. Look, we both are. I think for both of us, this is going to be a rough time. And so it's a time for us to take control of what we can. I'm not going to let Fusion go down without a fight. Refused? Oh! Gertrude Stark just gave us a shove-off. What is wrong with this woman? Oh, does she understand you are offering cold, hard cash? According to Mrs. Stark, 
All the money in the world couldn't compensate her for her pain and suffering. Oh, what does she want, a pound of flesh from every one of us? She seems set on bringing down fusion. That vindictive old broad. She ought to change her name to Gertie Stark Raving Mad. Why? What did we do to deserve this? 